Hello everyone. It's Suravi. Today we will have a brief introduction about power transmission system. Let's see what is a belt drive. Belt drive consists of two pulleys over which an endless belt is passed. Rotary motion of the driver pulley is transmitted to the driven pulley. Types of belt drives. First, open belt drive and second is the cross belt drive first we will see open belt drive what is an open belt drive in open belt drive the driver and the driven pulley rotate in the same direction what is the angle of flap open drive angle subtended by the portion of the belt which is in contact of the pulley surface at the center of the pulley denoted by theta larger pulley radius smaller pulley radius distance between centers angle of flap or contact theta alpha is equal to sin inverse of R1 minus R2 upon C larger pulley theta is equal to pi plus 2 alpha smaller pulley theta is equal to pi minus 2 alpha now we will see cross belt drive what is a cross belt drive In this type of belt drive the driver and the driven pulley rotate in opposite directions angle of flap for cross belt drive angle of flap or contact that is theta larger pulley radius smaller pulley radius distance between the centers alpha is equal to sin inverse of R1 plus R2 upon x and theta is equal to pi plus 2 alpha this is for both the pulleys here theta of smaller pulley is greater than that of the open belt drive and thus chances of slip are less let's sum up the key differences between open belt drive and cross belt drive open belt drive versus cross belt drive the rotation of pulleys is in same direction while that in cross belt it is opposite alignment of shaft horizontal or inclined while in cross belt it can be vertical also rubbing no rubbing so greater life while cross belt has rubbing so less life length of belt is less while that in cross belt it is high angle of contact is different while in cross belt it is the same Let's see what is the velocity ratio. Velocity ratio. Length of the belt passing over the driver pulley in n1 revolutions is equal to pi d1 n1. Length of belt passing over driven pulley in n2 revolutions is pi d2 n2. since length of belt passing over driver pulley is equal to that of driven pulley we have pi d1 n1 is equal to pi d2 n2 thus velocity ratio is equal to n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 plus t upon d2 plus t here t is the belt thickness types of belts first flat belt second v belt and third rope belt first we will see flat belt what is a flat belt flat belt has a rectangular cross section 
they are capable of transferring power over long distances between pulley centers with efficiency as high as 98%. Flatbelt applications designed for light duty power transmission and high performance conveying best suited for small pulleys and larger central distances. Now we will see V-belt. What is a V-belt? V-belts are trapezoidal in cross-section and are used with grooved pulleys. They permit large speed and high power transmission. Multiple drives are possible. Applications of V-belts They provide the best combination of speed transfer, load distribution and extended service life. Commonly used in industrial applications because of the relative low cost, ease of installation and wide range of sizes. Now we will see rope belt. What is a rope belt? It has a circular cross section used in lifts, cranes and factories to transmit larger power to larger distances. Applications of rope belts. Rope belts are generally made of rubber. This type of belt is generally used for light loads such as in sieving machines or vacuum cleaner. We have seen the belt drives. In the upcoming videos, we will see the remaining power transmission systems. Till then, goodbye.